Number 75. Based on their positions in the periodic table, list the following atoms in order of increasing radius Mg, Ca, Rb, and Cs. Okay, we could do this. We could totally do this, right? Radius is just talking about how big or how small an atom is, right? So we just want to rank them from increasing radius, which means that the smallest radius should be on the left-hand side and the largest radius or the larger atom is going to be on the right-hand side. Now let's talk about the trends. Whenever they talk about radius, it just comes down to a trend. And you guys will probably have to memorize this trend, but it's very, very simple. Going from left to right on the periodic table, your atomic radius, and I'll just put AR, your atomic radius will decrease. So that means that you will start big, your, the atoms on the periodic table on this side, they will start big and then they will get progressively smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until I can't even put a dot here anymore. So as you go across a period, right, your atoms will get smaller. So that means that if I choose sodium, sodium would have such a big radius as opposed to its counterpart argon, which is all the way on the other side. Now, if we go down a group, so from up to down, going down a group, your atomic radius would actually increase or get larger, mainly because it has more electrons, more shells, so more farther away from the nucleus. So that means that basically all the elements at the bottom will be much bigger than all the elements at the top. So if I chose iodine, iodine would be super big as opposed to fluorine, who would be just a little small, a little small atom. And if I drew it, um, you would start small up top and then progressively they would get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Now let's see where these atoms are. So we got magnesium, which is over here, calcium, which is right below it, rubidium, which is over here and then cesium, which is right below it. Hmm, this one doesn't look too hard, right? It looks like, well, this is definitely decreasing, and this is definitely decreasing. So the general trend is, is technically they're, they're decreasing, right? So which one would be the smallest? We would go by the group trend. As you go down the periodic table, you get larger. So it looks like cesium would be the largest, because it's the most down on the periodic table, and magnesium would be the smallest, because it would be the most up top. So, magnesium would be the smallest, so that gets rid of that one. Then comes calcium, because it's right below it, so magnesium is smaller than calcium, which is smaller than rubidium, Rb, which is smaller than cesium. So cesium would be the largest, because it's the most down on the periodic table. Magnesium would be the smallest because it's the most up on the periodic table. Now you might be wondering about this little dip right here, right? Because calcium is in group two and rubidium is in group one. But remember, as you go from left to right, you decrease as well. So that would technically mean that calcium is still smaller than rubidium. All right, so box this answer off. This one was easy. All just comes down to your radius trends. So just remember those trends as you go across a period and as you go down a group. Pretty simple as that, though, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. Please click the, click the subscribe button. It helps the channel out greatly. Um, yeah, hopefully we're, we're doing our best to help you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll see you guys all in the next question. See you then.